Hey guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a progression video. Um, there'll be an annotation somewhere on the screen if you don't know what a progression video is or if you want to know how the outcome is going to be. So yeah, so for this uh, tutorial I'm going to use this example of this background I made uh, for myself. This is a old one that I already used. So yeah, so what you want to do first is basically when you're making a progression, it's going to be a bunch of pictures that merge into each other and each picture is going to have a different thing in it that the other one didn't. So it's kind of so it's kind of going to be like step by step like the building process. So yeah, first of all what you want to do is you want to get a size for for a video so it could be like it could be like 1280 by 720 or 10 or, or 1920 by 1080 which is like you know hd so for this i'm gonna go 1920 by so yeah it, well what you want to do now is uh first you want to go uh a new a new canvas and you want to go 1920 by 1080 and once you have that then you want to select it cut it out then you want to go over to your background layer make sure you could see it all and then you just want to paste it and and now what you want to do is just drag this just, just drag the white square over the area that you want to put in your progression so obviously you know they don't need to see this whole bottom part there's gonna be nothing in these little bars so I'd say this is about good so now what you want to do is you want to come over here to into this tool right here it's it's a crop tool it's right underneath the magic wand tool and you just want to outline your white square and press enter so what what this will do is basically it'll resize the canvas to this size and now you could just delete this and now this will come up as a as a full screen image when you import it into your video editing software so I'm just gonna move these rulers out of the way um yeah like so so now uh, what you want to do is basically here you have the background so first of all you want to hide you, you, you want to hide all these extra layers so like you know all this type of stuff um, I, I'm actually not gonna go through it all I'll just go through a couple so you guys can see so so you just want to hide all this maybe you might want to leave the module but you know everything else you guys could hide it and then what you want to do is okay let's say I want to start off with this so here you have this picture then you want to save it and so we can go file save for web and devices and now this should take a second to load up and then once it loads up you know make it make sure it's PNG 24 for the best quality and then just simply go save and save it to wherever you want name it number one and now and now what you want to do is for the next one it's what you want to come in next so let's say after after the viewers look at this you want it I want it to say I want my dope designs text to come in with the with a professional graphics design under it so now again uh, once I once I uh, make those layers visible so you can see them here on the canvas you go file save as and then now and now you would save this one as two and you just keep doing that you know for all the rest of these layers you make them come in piece by piece how you want them you know you don't have to make each thing come in one at a time as I did you know you can make two things come in you can I can make this whole entire bar thing so like for the next one if I wanted I can make all this come in with with my text area you know I can have I can have all that come in for the next one it really doesn't matter depends how long you want the video to be and how detailed your background is so if you have like a whole bunch of stuff you don't want each and every step to be different or if it's like the same thing repeated over and over again you know cuz that just gets boring and no one's gonna want to watch that so like yeah that's what you do you just save it every time after after you make a bit by bit visible and then and then you want to go into your video editing program so here I have my Sony Vegas and basically what that's gonna do is is um then you're gonna have it like this It's gonna be like one two three four as many layers as you have so this one I had eight layers so now I'm gonna select them all by going to the first one holding down shift then going to the last one and then just open them up and as you can see now I have every every uh like uh every picture in here and it's all like a different spot and this is exactly how I wanted it 
but it but what I like to do is obviously you know uh, you you want to make it a little better so these when you import them into Sony Vegas it comes out as a five second clip so what I like to do is I just like to take the one in front of it drag it in and it should automatically lock on when it says 1.00 which is one second fade basically so th so these two are gonna be cross fading into each other now so I'm hopefully you guys can see it in the video thing right there so as you can see it fades in rather than just popping up and you know kind of being ugly it fades in so you just want to do this for the rest of the layers you know depending on how many pictures you saved this might take some time and then other than that you know if you guys want to get fancy you can add a bar or whatever you know I like to add those and then other than that you just want to add some music and render it out so hopefully this has helped guys if you have any questions leave them in the comments below don't forget to like this video, favorite this video. Uh, sorry about my voice, you know, I'm losing it a little. But yeah, if you guys want me to make more tutorials on stuff, leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.